Hi everyone, my name is Shamim and I work as a developer at Model HQ. And today I would like to introduce the new developments and improvements of question bank tagging in Model 3.5. So, uh, just a brief overview. Uh, in this session I'm going to introduce the tagging feature, explain how uh, we can tag the question in the question bank, the improvements in Moodle 3.5, and of course the advantages and applications of question tagging in different situations. Who here already uses tagging for questions? Probably just one or two, which gives me good motivation. You really need this talk. <laughs> Okay, let me first uh, start with a bit of nostalgia. Yes, our dear Moodle 2. When Moodle 2 was released, uh, one of the features uh, was that when you create a question, you could attach some tags to the question. As we can see in this picture, we could choose a tag between a list of standard tags or official tags, uh, or even create a customized list of tags when we were creating or defining a question and attach uh, a tag to the question. Yes, so we had this feature since Moodle 2, and yes, we could tag questions. But then, after attaching these tags, how could we use the tags? or what were the advantages of having tags for the questions. The reality is the application was limited to nothing. <laughs> well, we could assign tags to the questions, but then there was nowhere in Moodle where we could search questions by those tags, or we could use those tags anywhere in Moodle. <laughs> Well, yes, there were some third-party plugins to help us with that, but there was no feature in core. Well, of course, until now. So, the project of question tagging improvements was requested and funded by the Moodle User Association, and therefore, it was one of the big improvements in Moodle 3.5. And we actually added quite a lot of new features and capabilities, thanks to MUA, which I am going to explain now. So first of all, tagging a question is now much easier. As you can see, uh, while I can still tag questions on uh, the question editing page, I can also easily add edit or remove tags on the questions when I am on the question bank. So when I'm in the question bank and I can see a list of all questions, I can see these small icons uh, in front of each question. And if I click on the tag icon of a question, I can see all the tags that are attached to that question. I can remove some of the tags or I can add new tags to that question if I want. So I don't have to go to the question editing page to see what tags are attached to that question or to modify the tags. I can do that directly from the uh, question bank. Another very uh, important expansion of the tagging functionality for question bank is that now we also add a new layer of tagging called course level question tags. What does this mean? Okay, first a little bit of background. When you create a new question, you can specify which category you want that question to be uh, in. So uh, if you have the right set of permissions, you can put the question in a question category that is at a higher course category context. And a question that is in a course category can be used in all the courses that are in that course category. Okay, back to tagging. 
So basically, now we have two types of tags, question tags and uh, course level question tags. When we attach a tag to a question, as a question tag, uh, the tag is always going to be attached to that question, no matter which course or where we are. And now the second type, course level tags, are attached to the question in the context of a course. For instance, we have a question uh, which has been tagged vegan and vegetarian. The question has also been tagged healthy in the course one. But as the tag healthy is a course level tag, when we are in course two and look at the same question, we are only going to see the vegan and vegetarian tags and not the healthy tag. That is only for course one. Also, I see both types of tags on the question editing page, so nothing is lost. My wife is a chemistry lecturer, and she is translating everything in her own examples. So when I did explain this new feature to her, she was first looking at me confused, and then she started to translate this in chemistry terms. So this was her example. She now can create a question and tag it with something like acids and bases, which then later would remind her that the question is on that topic. But then, if she wants to use the same question in few courses, for example, she's teaching general chemistry, and the acids and bases concept is in chapter three. So she would tag the question with the course tag of chapter three. In this way, when she is in the course of general chemistry and she needs a question from chapter three, she can see this tag on the question. But the tag chapter three is irrelevant in another course. So for example, in the inorganic chemistry course. So as the tag was only attached to the question in the general chemistry course, she is not going to see the tag of chapter three in another course but she would always see the tag of acids and bases in all courses because those tags are question tags. They are not in a specific context. Yes, okay, we did all these great things. Now we can tag questions easier. Now we can have a new type of tag and okay, we have all these new features, but Moodle 2 says, so what? What is the real application? Okay then, Moodle 2. Now we can filter questions based on our tags in any course. For instance, I search a tag vegan, and all questions with this tag are going to appear. The filtering will come handy uh, when I'm in a quiz and I want to add a question from a question bank to that quiz. So I go to my quiz, I click on the add questions from the question bank, and uh, then not only I can shortlist the questions based on their category, I can filter them more by entering some tags. And then I can pick the questions I want and add them to my quiz. <sighs> And yeah, so this searching and adding the questions can be a combination of searching based on category and searching based uh, on tags at the same time. Moreover, I can add random questions in my quiz based on the tag. Before, we could have random questions from a category, but now I can say I want to add a random question from a specified category and with specified tags. Also, as you can see in this page, we also have a preview section. So as you choose a category and a specified tags, uh, it will preview all the questions that match uh, with the category and tags. As you can see, I now have two pages of questions which I can see their preview. It also allows uh, the question to be added 
by tag from the course context and question context, which means that if I have assigned this tag to the question or in the course context, in both ways, now that I am filtering the question, the question would appear in my search. Same story with uh, the chapter three, all of the healthy tag, healthy tag, which uh, was only in one course and not the other course. So if I am in course one and I put healthy, I see those questions that have the health tag in course one. But if I'm in course two, of course, I won't see those questions. Again, one more feature which has been added to, the, uh, to Moodle 3.5, and we didn't have this before, is that before, we wanted, uh, when we wanted to add a random question, we had to pick a category. We couldn't say, I want a random question from any category in the course. We had to pick a specific category. But now, we have a new item called top category, which all the categories are its subcategories. So if I want to pick a random question from any category in my course, I can simply pick uh, the top category because all other categories are its children. So select a question from the top category and as all the categories are its subdivision, uh, my question uh, could be from either of the categories within the course. I can also have random question from just a category or from a combination of category and tags or have just a random question by tag. Okay, now let's have a quick quiz. I have the question one which has been tagged by learning. This question has been tagged by cooking in course one and creativity in course two. We have also the question two, which has been tagged by calligraphy. The question has been tagged as art in course one and by learning in course two. Now, we are in course one and searching for a random question tagged by learning. Which question could come up? Correct, it's the question one, because the question two doesn't have the tag of learning in course, uh, in course one. But now if we are in course two and uh, searching for a random question tagged by learning, which question would come up? Both could come up, yeah, that's correct. Thank you so much and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation.